All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. What you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of seven wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Alex Poetai! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 29 wins, nine losses, and one draw. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Jan Blakowicz. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Are you ready? Are you ready? So All right, so we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see Inside of a ring, we get it in the octagon tonight. Nice punch there. Wachowicz gets caught by that straight hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, nice right hand. Transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Close guard. Under three minutes now to go in round one. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. 
right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. He loaded up on that right hand, too. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, Shai has to fit his hand speed. So just over 20 total strikes. Loading landed for Jan Bohovic. Look at the turtle in that kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Overhand left. Unable to connect with the right. Final seconds. Five minutes in the books. Everything is going exactly like the plan. He cannot hold the strike. Listen, you're going to hold that. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Okay, Ralph, you ready? You ready? Second round underway. trying to shut the liver down. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Unable to land on the uppercut there, but now starting to use that reach advantage. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Big punch from McClendon. Very nice leg kick there by Guajobos. Still no surprise, he gets the takedown there. Over and over again, he attacked. Oh, nice guillotine there. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a... Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Attacking on bar. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to... He's out. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Watch triangle, watch triangle. And he's out. All right, side control now. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman, just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round.
down, so the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Our next round is now underway. Multiple submission attempts in that previous round, but none good enough to submit his opponent. Not good enough to this point. If we know this guy, he's going to continue to try and attack submission until he eventually finds once that he can finish the fight. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, nice right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, so he's out of time now. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of, kind of targeting that time. I mean, when you get your it, opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Visibly limping here. We're well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Side control now. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Got to be careful, armbar. using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Got his guard pass. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is Ladies in. Bruce Buffer has it. Judges for the contest 30 27, 9 28, and 30 27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, John Rodriguez. All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly a pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person.